you became aware that something was rotten in Denmark and every other Western culture, hmm. where women seem to be going way beyond the desire for equality, which is a just and noble goal. But the women in your culture became loud, vulgar, aggressive, physically unattractive, and you notice it from the sidelines of your life. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Back. TOV here. The Open Veil TV. Today's topic. Uh, we got a video from a interesting girl whose name is Filipina P. Filipina P. Uh, in my language, you would say Filipina Pia, but you know, depending if you're saying in the in which language you're gonna say it, you can see either Filipina Pia or Filipina P. And today she's gonna talk about our women over here. The women that we have in our establishment here in this country called the United States. And she's talking about us, les hommes, qui vont en dehors des normes. Or, I could have said the right way. If I had to say it word by word, it would be Om Allah <laughs> Sur leur Wood So men that are going on their own route or own Chemin Actually yeah, I, I said that instead Les hommes qui vont sur leur propre chemin On a better way to say that La pilule rouge. Interesting. So, let's see what she has to say. So, without further talking, you know what? Let's start cooking. Folks, the Filipina P here, telling it like it is. When I first started my channel, I did a lot of research for my feminism video, and I ran across an interesting viewpoint held by many Western men that, quite frankly, I mostly agree with. It's not so much a movement as it is a lifestyle choice, but since Western media seems determined to ignore them, or worse, I'd like to share what I learned about MGTOW, men going their own way. Now I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of As I mentioned earlier in the in the introduction, as I mentioned, the correct way I would say is Les hommes allen sur leur propre chemin. That would be the formal way to say it actually. I don't wanna say it in English because don't know if that's gonna cause some algorithm. <laughs> so, let's keep it moving. Of this wrong, but you guys can correct me, and I'm sure you will. Yes, we will. The reason I find these men interesting is that, in many ways, they seem like natural allies to us Filipinas and women of other Asian countries. 
Ooh. And because there are so many of them showing up on our shores and in my comment section, I thought it would be interesting to discuss just who they are and what they have to say. Mm, okay. Okay, okay, okay. For those of you unfamiliar with the analogy of the red pill, it's a reference from the movie The Matrix, where Neo is offered the choice between living in blissful ignorance by taking the blue pill or seeing the ugly reality by taking the red. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. MGTOW Alright, um, I made a video recently, and I'm gonna put it up there on the card, up there. Um, like, up there, yeah. About uh, a young girl whose name is Tony Brian who didn't do her research, like little girl, lazy little girl, not doing her research, to find out what the red pill actually is. Like I mentioned, Tony Brian, it was not a dating advice thing. It works in many other facets of life. And if you had done your research properly, you would have found out it came from that movie that she is now showing. You see, there's a difference when somebody does their research and when somebody does not. But, let's keep it moving. Actually, you know what? The Bible talks about when things don't go your way, you need to seek guidance. Not from people, but of course from God. And there's always a solution to the problems. And for right now, I think the best solution for most men is fuck you, Ali, no wood, you. So far, until we find something better, we'll cooperate with you again. But until then, let's keep it moving. House have, of course, chosen the red. But what does that actually mean? What reality do they think they see that the men around them refuse to admit? Well, according to the MGTOWs, you Western men have been sold a lie. Mm. You were raised to believe a Disney fantasy. Mm -hmm. Work hard, be a good man, mm. treat your wife well, have children, retire in your golden age and enjoy what you've earned. That's the way it should have been. Mm. It's what your parents and society told you it would be if you were just a good husband and provider. Okay. But as you got older, you saw the glitches in the matrix. You became aware that something was rotten in Denmark and every other Western culture, hmm. where women seem to be going way beyond the desire for equality, which is a just and noble goal. But the women in your culture became loud, vulgar, aggressive, physically unattractive, and you notice it from the sidelines of your life, comfortable in the belief that it didn't really affect you because you, maybe you were already married and settled. Uh, and, uh, wow, that's, oh man. Man. This is somebody who's done their homework. So here's the thing, ladies. Um, you understand how you want a man who is a uh, <laughs> um, six foot tall, at least six foot tall, which is what ten percent. You know, uh, if, if the person is taller than six foot two or six foot three, that's even less. And you want that man to be physically in shape. And I don't, I don't care whether you care about the money or not, but I want to let you know right now, if you're looking for a man who's at least six foot tall, there's only 10% of us. Now, I don't know if it's 10% of men between the ages of 20 or to maybe like 35 or 45, or is it in general? Because if it's in general, it's already 10%. If it's from a certain age to a certain age, it's going to be less. 
you know? So, but you ladies have a hard time to keep yourself in shape as well. But you demand a man who is in shape. What are you going to offer that man who is in shape? Hmm? So, what Filipina P is saying, basically, <laughs> so far, she hasn't said anything that I can disagree with. You know? Yeah. Now, we're going to keep it 100% over here. We're going to keep it honest, simple, and real. So far, she's been cooking. Yeah, like I am cooking right now. She's been cooking real good food. Now, I've never been to, Philippi to the Philippines, but I do have some Filipino friends. And trust me, if it weren't for my preferences, I would have gone for one of them already. No jokes, no lies, I'm being honest. But, hey, if in the future my preferences changes, change, you never know. I might try one of the Philippine girls, but it's okay. Let's move on. But then, something happened to your own relationship and you got a bitter taste of the new reality. Hmm. Maybe your kids were taken away. Your bank accounts destroyed by lawyers. Wait, are you talking, are you talking about the child support system? Man, how did she know all of that? Oh, yeah, the divorce cases. I mean, she you can tell she did her research. How does she know that our kids are taken are being taken away from us? Man. Mm -mm. Yep. And greedy exes. And when you finally recovered from all that, you realized that the world you thought you lived in was now cold and barren. Your women no longer value or respect you. Because big government has replaced you. Shout out to the Filipina P. Um, yeah, I've been, I saw that too. <laughs> I was in with my sister one time in the past month. You know, yeah, in July. No, July. Yeah, July to August. I spent about a month at her place just for vacation. And I was talking to her roommate and at night. And we're talking about kevin samuels and of course she doesn't like kevin samuels but she only had she heard about him and probably watched only one video that went that went viral and that's about it and i'm like yep never mind and i told her you see big if you guys if you guys are in trouble if us when we are in trouble what are we gonna what, 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 what's gonna happen for us? We can either go homeless, broke, or work another two or three jobs. If you go broke, if you get in trouble, guess what? Your husband will come for you. And when I say your husband, I mean she's single, so she doesn't have any husband. She's never had a boyfriend, I think, or she's never been married anyways. But I said your husband will come for you. Your husband is big daddy government. They come for you. You know, I I I was talking to her. And I said, she was like, yeah. When I was broke, I used to get um, what do you call it again, food stamp and things like that. And I said, when I was broke, literally broke, I applied for for, for food stamp three times, never once got approved. Now, I don't, I only did that because I, I didn't know any better because I had just come to the country and they told me, oh, if you're a student, you can apply for food stamp. Didn't even know what it was until somebody actually mentioned it to me. So I tried, I did some research, for, oh, it's money so you can buy some food uh, if you have shortage of food, if you have a shortage of food. So I applied three times. Never got approved. I should have put a different name, like a woman's name, and see if I would be approved. I didn't think about that part. Man, it's okay. 
But anyways, Big Daddy government is gonna come to the rescue, ladies. And to you men, huh? Get yourself better, cause there's no help for you. Instead of being the hero, somehow you're now the villain. Marriage is poison to you, and you see absolutely no benefit from it. Mm -hmm. You're angry, and rightly so. But understanding the reality has resulted in several distinct philosophies. Now I don't mean to be disrespectful, but there seems to be a segment of the MGTOW population that has become completely anti-female, who view all women with suspicion and don't seem to care much about the way they interact with the opposite sex. So for Filipina, you are right. Some men, I don't know, <laughs> wow. some men, they, oh. Now, those men, I don't think is, I'm going to put it that way. Most of those, I think that's actually a very small portion. Because most of them, they would still go out and casual, having casual sex. But not ever want to talk to a woman. I mean, yeah, they're going to talk to you, have sex, and then they're gone. And I think this is probably, I'd rather the men not talking to women than do that. Coming from a, a, a biblical standpoint, a biblical background right now, I'm, I'm, I'm moving away from the just a my thought process reaction. Let's take it on a biblical term. There is nowhere in the Bible that God condones um, the, the usage of people, you know? Meaning, if you have a, if you as a man, if I as a man don't want to, uh, get into relationship with a woman because I am skeptical about what they want to do. The one thing I know for sure the Bible will, is against is to try to get to that person, misuse the person, just so I can, I can have casual sex and then leave the person dry. Because now you are playing with that person's emotion as well. I'd rather if the men were to just not talk to the women than try to just do casual sex because that's called fornication, which is a sin. So, hold on. So as much as you are right that it is not a good thing for them to actually dismiss women in in total and think that all women are like that. But I think it is worse if they try to go into that mindset of I'm just gonna use them for sex. This is the this is right now in the um, biblical Christian mindset. Not the worldly mindset, but because most of them, because most of them are worldly people, and they don't have that godly and biblical uh, understanding or mindset, I understand why they do what they do. But I don't want to do that because, as a Christian, as a basically as a Seventh Day Adventist Bible Christian, this is something that I would not be happy or comfortable to do based on my religious uh, background. So, and biblical understanding as well. But, so far, Philippine Happy, you're doing a great job. And then, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. While I can understand how their experiences have left them feeling this way, I don't agree with their views or actions. The Maybe. term AWOLT, which means all women are like that, only applies in a broad sense. Yeah, that is true. I, I don't think there's no such thing as all or none. You can say most or there's a certain quantity, but to say all, no. 
it's not a simple thing like all men are cheaters or all men are liars. That's not true either, you know? So, yeah, I agree with you on that part. I feel your pain, but not all women are out to separate you from your money. Not mm. all of us are lying scammers, and not all of us are your enemies. That's true. If you're just here in the Philippines as a pickup artist, or to get revenge on the women here for how you were treated back home, or to use my country as a playground for your sexual escapades, mm. and don't care who you hurt along the way, I have no sympathy for you, and you're not my friends. <laughs> if, however, you're one of those men that's reassessed his options, but hasn't given up on women altogether, then let me refer back to the statement I made earlier. You see, um, I knew you were a smart girl. So this one just right now, what you just said is exactly what I just mentioned from my biblical standpoint, which is wrong to use women for sex or anything. That, you, you know what? Nah. I already explained that, so if you want to uh, hear it again, just go back and hear that part again. But let's move on. It seems to me that MGTOWs and other red-pilled men might be the natural allies of us Filipinas. Because in many cases, we're the exact opposite of the very things you detest. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling that might be one of the reasons there are so many of you here. When you look at us... You see an Asian version of the women in your own countries from 50 years ago. And in many ways, you're right. <laughs> so what is it about Filipinas that you find so appealing? Why are we considered by many to be such a desirable catch? Well, let me take a minute to tell you some of the ways we are different from what you're used to. The things that make me proud to be a Filipina. If you're lucky enough to find yourself in a relationship with a quality Filipina, and yes, there are many of us, here are some things you can expect. We're feminine. We take care of ourselves and try to look like women. Even if we're completely broke, somehow we find a way to wear dresses and style our hair in an attractive way. We're frugal. Generally speaking, a Filipina won't go on extravagant shopping sprees even if we have the means. Okay, uh, so being frugal, uh, man. <laughs> I think if there's a, a uh, if the, if I can ever find a more frugal man than I am, than I, that's a lot of, that's, that's a very small amount of people. Yeah. But, you know, even though I'm actually extremely, I'm, I'm, I, okay, I'm going to put it that way. I'm extremely frugal. Even then, I still spend money on my friends. Meaning what? Meaning if they are in need. I don't like to spend money if I don't have to. Yes. If I don't have to, then no, I don't want to spend money. Uh, I like to keep my money. I like to invest my money. I might lose money in investment, then just spend it for no cause. Yeah. And you saying that you guys are frugal, Filipina P? Uh, man, that's a blessing because over here, women like to spend a lot of money over here. I don't know why. The dress I'm wearing? 100 pesos. Two dollars. We're not used to having much money anyway, mm. and mostly all we worry about are basic needs. It really doesn't take much for us to feel safe and happy. That's true. We can cook and know how to take care of a household. Unlike the dying art of cooking in much of the Western world, give a Filipina just a few simple ingredients and she'll cook you something that will leave you full and satisfied. Aye, so... This is much like my women from my country. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? As I grew up, when I was about 10 years old, my dad started to teach me how to cook. My dad actually grew up cooking for a living. So, of course, he had to teach us how to cook. Um, and so, finding a woman that knows how to cook, 
it's actually rare these days, but if you find one, uh, and sometimes you, most of my friends actually, most of my friends, they don't marry women that are from this country. They marry women that are from our country. Yeah, we are, you know, some of us were born in this country, but we grew up in a different country, so we get women from our uh, our other country. So that that's the way it is, right? Now. But let's keep it moving. I'm happy to say that I'm a pretty darn good cook myself. Yep. We make great companions. Mm. Most of Filipinas I know would be happy just to spend their time with their mates, sharing the passage of time as a couple not as two people who happen to have the same address. <laughs> We're patient. We don't nag much. And we actually care about your opinion. Doesn't that sound refreshing for a change? Oh, yes. And maybe the best trait of all, we're not consumed by careers and the desire for personal recognition. Mm -hmm. We tend to have simple goals and we're happy just being who we are. If you find a good one, Filipinas can be among the most loyal women in the world, and we know how to keep our man happy. Isn't that worth taking a closer look at? Even if it means totally restructuring your life and coming to a strange land with a strange culture? I guess you have to ask yourself, what is it you want out of life? What's important to you? What would make you happy? And that brings us back around to the MGTOWs. Mm. Just for fun, try Googling M-G-T-O-W. The very first search result brands these men as a misogynistic, <laughs> anti-feminist group tied to white supremacists. Wait a minute. Uh, Filipina P, hold on. Did you watch that video that uh, Tony Brienne made? Because that's exactly what... She you know what? Guys, remember, uh, uh, I made a, I made a video where she talked about uh, 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 men, the the M G T O W, and she said, "Oh, the Business Insider." Actually, you got a little clip of that. I'm like, Tony Brian, if you had done your research, you would have found out this is not the case. Okay. Don't forget that one. Remember that? Yeah. Let's move on. And the alt-right. In my opinion, that's absolutely ridiculous. From what I can tell, MGTOWs are just men who refuse to play the game in a system rigged against them. Mm -hmm. They rather work on themselves as individuals and find enlightenment through self-improvement. Yep. yep. They're not even a group. There are no protests, no demonstrations, no apparent organization. Just individual guys who see through the smoke and the mirrors of the Truman Show they were living in. Which is the best Now, place. most MGTOWs would rather be boiled in oil than ever consider marriage. Uh -oh. And many of them don't even believe in long-term relationships. Yeah. But some of them still entertain it as a possibility if the right conditions were met. And it's those men I'd like to address as I close. To them, I would say, think about the reasons why you became a MGTOW and then look closely at the women and culture here. Now answer this one question honestly. If the women in your country were like the more traditional women here, would you ever have become a MGTOW? No, you don't need a woman to complete you. And you don't ever need to put your assets at risk again. But maybe, just maybe, life here still resembles the way things were supposed to be before everything went to hell back home. Just food for thought. After all, you're on my channel for a reason, right? Well, that's all for today, folks. But as always, I'm working on something new I think you'll enjoy. So stay tuned. Till next time. Okay. Oh. You probably didn't notice, but in my last video, I placed an Easter egg to see if anyone was paying attention. No. There 
all right guys we're gonna stop it right there we're gonna stop it right there uh, actually with this part interesting conversation we had um so far somebody actually understand what's going on <laughs> who all right guys this was the the open veil tv tov back with another video until then actually wait a minute until then i'm out <laughs>